All right, so check this out. We have the hole punch cut out on the top. And now I'm going to plug in my charger. And there we have the dynamic island, as you can see. I can press and hold to expand it, tap to make it go back. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Dynamic Island on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. This, as you know, is an iPhone 14 Pro feature, so let's dive in and get started. And you can actually see it on the top right over here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you press and hold right here, it is going to expand and give me that player. And also let me send myself a quick message so you can see what's gonna happen. When I have this up and also I get a second notification, so I'm gonna send myself a message and you'll notice we're gonna get a small pop-up on the side. I can press and hold on that one to expand that particular pop-up. You can see it is a text message. I can also tap on any one of these just like that to bring up the actual application relating to the dynamic island notification. So let's dive in and get started right away to show you how to get this on your phone as well. All right, so first let's grab the dynamic island application. This is an official application in the Play Store. To grab the application, all you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Once you're at the link, you wanna scroll down. This is my website. You're gonna scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you wanna click this link. It'll take you straight to the Play Store, and you can see this is an early access application. It is free to download, but it does have some pro features that you can activate. So let me show you how to set this up and all its features and what else you can do. So once you install the application and you click on open, it is going to give you that nice animation. You see it just dropped down from the hole cutout. And then you're gonna tap next, and before you can start using it, you do have to give it some permissions. This is all the usual stuff, nothing to worry as far as privacy is concerned. So first, select which applications can activate the Dynamic Island pop-up. So that brings up this list of apps. And here, I'm just going to pick a bunch of regular applications so I can give you an example. So I'm going to say messages, I'm going to send myself some text messages. I'm going to say Samsung Music application, which is going to be right here. And then there's a couple other things you can do. I'm going to show you that in a minute, such as having a notification for charging battery. So you also want to give it the notification access. Otherwise, you're not going to get a notification. Or actually scroll up. It's going to be right here somewhere. Dynamic spot. Enable this allow and then draw on screen that is going to give it the permission to draw on the screen to give you the notifications so you tap them one as well read the disclosure tap on next then you're going to be dropped to this area you want to tap on installed applications dynamic spot and enable it Alrighty, allow so that's it you're going to get check marks on all these initial requirements you're going to tap on done and then you are in the dynamic island also known as dynamic spot application. Now real quick, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna tap on this one right here. This is this enables or disables dynamic island, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna go inside. Here are the apps you can choose for the dynamic island to work. Let me show you a quick example with the text messaging. So I'm gonna send myself a message right now. Let's see what happens. There we go, okay? I can press and hold to expand it. Tap here, it's gonna go back, or I can tap it and it will bring the actual message, as you can see, just like the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now let's go back into the application. Over here, we also have the option to get some information about the battery as you get a full battery or when you get a low battery. So let's enable this phone charging feature. I'm gonna grab my USB Type-C cable. I'm gonna plug it, and I'm gonna you guys to see what happens on the top, all right? So look at this, I'm gonna plug it, and that's what I get. Gives me the battery percentage, the charging. I can press and hold again. It's going to expand, tap, it goes away. Or I can tap it again just one time, and it brings up the actual battery usage screen. So it is a fully functional dynamic island, even though it is an early access application. Now, we mentioned that it is more customizable than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm going to tap on the pop-up settings, and literally... You can tap on dimensions under appearance and you can change the size, the X position, the Y position, just to give you an example. You know, I can, I can literally have it right here. Not that I'm going to do that, 
but you can put it anywhere you want on the screen. All right, so I'm going to put it back where it belongs. I can change it to the left and right. I can change the edge rounding. So it is a customizable dynamic island that you can move around. And also you can allow for two pop-ups to happen at the same time. If you enable this, you can have two notifications at the same time. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to my Samsung Music, which I had enabled for my dynamic island on this phone. Tap it. I'm going to tap on play. I'm going to go out and it's going to be right there as you can see. Now if I send myself a text message, what's going to happen is it's going to give me a separate little pop-up on the side. You can see if I just press and hold that pop-up, it gives me that application. If I press and hold on this pop-up, it gives me this application. Okay. And I can tap on either one of these to go to the actual application. So it is pretty well done. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of the dynamic island, but if you want something, it's right here. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you guys. If you go to notifications, I mentioned that there's a pro version. You can see that the bottom is $5. Not sure if that's worth it, but if you really like it, you can have it. I'm going to purchase it in a minute, but let me go over here. So if you, if you go to battery, you can see these two are locked because they're pro options. When the phone is fully charged or when the battery is low, do you want to see a dynamic island notification? So if I try to enable this, it's going to ask me to charge it. So let me just buy this to show it to you guys. All right, the purchase is complete. You can see it says dynamic spot pro now. So I'm going to go back there, battery. You can see I can now enable these as well. And then I can do a bunch of other things. So after it is unlocked, if you go into the pop-up settings, uh, these options are going to be unlocked. This option is going to be unlocked. This option is going to be unlocked. And also this option uh, at the bottom is also going to be unlocked. This is something you also want to enable. This is the extra option. You want to block the system pop-ups so it doesn't interfere with the dynamic island pop-ups. If you have the system pop-ups enabled, you're going to see everything on the screen, which is going to look ridiculous. So with this option, you're able to block system pop-ups. So that's a great little feature as well. But that is the Dynamic Spot Pro Dynamic Island for Samsung Galaxy smartphones and will also work on other Android smartphones. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.